one. Um, I wasn't gonna actually make a video here, but I just wanted to show the setup here. Uh, towing this, see what the efficiency is gonna be going home. Strap down. We're gonna see, see how it tows. Hey everyone, I don't know how I'm gonna do this video here, whether or not it's just gonna be some clips of me towing or I'm actually going to um, do a whole video, but we'll find out. Actually, if I get, well, maybe I'll just do a whole video. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll show the first one through a disengagement with just a trailer. Oh yeah, okay, well, side note. This is a perfect example of, so I can't even see so many cars. The B, like the, if, the, if there were cameras on the B pillars, they're not B pillars, on the, uh, repeater cameras facing sideways. Ooh, that's gonna be loud. Uh, it wanted me to turn there. I should have turned there. Crap. Um, well, we're gonna go this way. That'll be about us. That's human pilot for ya. Let me just go ahead now and. Now turn left onto Comuga Road. <laughs> We're in an autopilot here for full, full self driving. I'm giving it a little bit more confidence with my foot. And so the thing that's probably not going to do, it's probably not going to. Oh, it's going straight here. Wait, oh no, it's not. It's taking it right here. It's probably not going to do is turn wide enough here. Oh, that. Okay. I'm not counting that. That was that I held the wheel wheel too tightly. It was going to swing too um, too narrow, and then it didn't. I also can't see behind me, so it's having to use. Um, okay, I'm having to just pay attention extra around here because of the. In 500 feet, turn left onto Spartanburg Highway. Spartanburg Highway. Looks like that strap him quite enough that he kind of slid a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> having to pay extra attention, everyone. You can say this isn't smart, but honestly, like, I don't know. Um, I, I think it's just fine, personally. I'm not going fast. I'm not going to let the car do anything stupid. It's just kind of interesting that um, um, the car seems to be taking wider turns with the trailer attached. I don't, maybe it's just me being extra aware of having a trailer. I'm not entirely sure. I want to get over it, but I can't. I'm waiting for this person. You can actually see here, the car is, um, I guess the car can feel the extra weight. I can even tell uh, the extra weight back there. And you can see it was using some brakes. I'm glad they've made this to where it shows gray at the end when it's using friction brakes. It's blending the two together. I'm not used to ha uh, not being able to see on my rear view, view mirror. I always subconsciously check it. And um, though, I have to get used to using my mirrors or using the cameras. So it should already be slowing down for this light here. Again, I, I, assuming you didn't see my last video, the car is not meant to tow a trailer um, with full self-driving, right? Uh, it can have a tow hitch and everything. The Model 3 just doesn't have a tow mode, even in Europe, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, I'm not even sure Europe has a tow mode uh, for Model 3, but Model Y does. And you can only use, I believe it actually only restricts you to normal cruise control, or uh, adaptive cruise control. And it doesn't really let you use autopilot with uh, 
tow mode enabled, which is interesting because like it, what it should do is just disable lane changes. Like you have to make lane changes. This should just be dumb autopilot, you know, which is great. Just stay in the lane and that's what it should do. Um, which should be what majority of the people want. See, look, it even makes lane changes just fine. And I, I, there's no one beside of me, so I had perfect timing. Exactly what I needed to do. gonna make it get over and he's uh, because the last time with the trailer I'm not risking this last time Ooh, okay. turn left onto upward road. that was an aggressive uh, swing over I'm gonna actually go ahead and snapshot that just in case though again I don't know how that works you know maybe if they see someone that has a trailer <laughs> I mean I haven't seen a video yet of I, I looked it up not long ago to see if there was a full self-driving towing video I don't I mean, maybe I didn't look very hard. I, I'm not sure, but I don't remember seeing one. Um, and I was surprised, actually. I was actually really surprised. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see how this how this tows here. Oh, that actually did really well. <laughs> like sometimes, like it seems like almost like I don't can't really tell it almost seems like it turns better with the trailer attached which is so odd to me uh, yeah and so as I always complain about it's ever more critical that the car thinks far in advance to get over lanes when you have this much e much much extra length like I've I like I might not have driven a trailer before, but my mom uh, had, and while she was driving when I was younger, she always taught me things to pay attention to uh, when you're towing a trailer, right? So I have some idea how to tow, I just I don't have the raw experience. Um, and so I do know, and just in general, I always plan far in advance. So I wanna get in this lane so I don't have the last minute squeeze in between two cars and hope they like let me in. To get onto the highway. I want to be in this lane to get onto the highway up here. So good. It's waiting to through this light, and then we have to. Um, oh. Yeah, we're gonna call. Th we're gonna make that a disengagement because um, it's not accounted for the length of the trailer and that truck that's turning right there. Now I'm gonna have to review the video, see if that was actually necessary. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna call that a disengagement. Um. But, uh, yeah, um, if that truck wasn't there, I would have disengaged. But it, it, as soon as it got past the light, it decided to get over. No problem with power. my truck behind me I, I can see it with my mirrors but I can't actually you can hardly see it with the cameras here if you haven't noticed the uh, tri the load is shifting a little bit I should have added a third strap on there I actually didn't expect it to shift so much because it was actually pretty tight I mean I tightened it down like it was you know everyone strums this the um, straps after you're done. It was it was like banjo tight, um, and it was bending in the top of the metal, so it, it was tight from my point of view. But I guess maybe a third one could have prevented it from sliding a little bit. But we only have we don't have much further to go. It's not like it's a long trip home, so I'm not worried. If if I was going a lot further distance, I would absolutely be. Uh, stopping at the next exit and strapping this back down for sure. So no problems at all with power going up and down the hills. Of course it's a Tesla. Um, and also this really isn't that heavy. That's probably, I don't know, 50 pounds, 100 pounds tops. Extra's over 
we're towing like 500 and something pounds. Um, whatever, some 500 and something, yeah. Don't know, what, don't know what the exact weight is, plus, you know, whatever the... Um, as you know, there's metal shelves in the back of the trunk, so that probably adds in... It's probably at least 100 pounds, so probably 550 to 600 pounds we're towing um, back there. But I really... It tows, the car tows great. I mean, I don't like... Some people feel like, oh, I feel sway in the towing or, you know, something like that. I don't... I don't feel that at all. Um, the, the, I guess it's balanced well. well it's, I mean, left, left to right, you know, so much back and forth it is. You want more tongue weight, of course. Um, of course, everything is up to the front. Well, it was up to the front. Just real quick, the trip. Wow, that's actually really good. 300. 75 and it should go down just a little bit so I'm gonna actually go ahead and pre-lower this speed down because yeah so we're turning there um, it's it, yeah it needs to break sooner on this hill and I think the only reason it did is because of this car right here so unprotected the left it, it's not perfect at this one because this traffic that comes down from the left and right and the left is a little bit occluded That's good to go actually it Kind of did the same thing where it turned the wheel right last time I came through here. It's interesting And we just got to make it past this car And that would be a single disengagement for this drive so like, like, look, I don't because it sees that car right there, and it's like they, it's overly cautious. I don't understand why it does that. But yeah, everyone, uh, I, I obviously if this is gonna get uploaded. Um, this will be a separate video just to keep it shorter. But it's interesting, yeah. I get some footage online of towing in a Tesla with full self-driving, one disengagement. So clearly, it's possible. So I don't whether or not they're going to allow it uh, is up to Tesla for sure. Um, that was an appropriate slowdown for this car right here, actually. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video, everyone. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have questions to me about the towing experience, I'll see if I can answer anything specifically to the Model 3 in towing. Not anything else, but um, yeah, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.